Well, guys, I have some unfortunate news to tell you all. I am looking at my Ridgeway bracket mantle clock right now. But, guess what just happened? That's right, the mainspring busted. And yeah, this thing basically does not run anymore on this movement. Except this one seems to wind just fine. But yeah, as you can see, this thing is no more. Well, that's a pretty big upset. But I think I've got a solution for it. Okay, well, it's a few days later now, and I just randomly found this package on my front porch. And I know what it is, <laughs> but I wonder if you guys know what it is. But I think this is definitely going to be a solution to fix the ha uh, Ridgeway bracket mantle clock. So, without further ado, I think we can go ahead and unbox this so here we go they secured this pretty well it's packaged very good Okay, I think we just about got it. Packaged quite well. Okay, here we go. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's my receipt. Not gonna show that for privacy reasons. Oh dear, we got, <laughs> we got dreaded peanuts. Oh, I'm sure this is gonna be interesting. I'm probably gonna make a bit of a mess with this. Except we got this right here. At that point, I think that's pretty much everything else. So this is what I think it is right here. So let's go ahead and get this thing open. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah, I wonder what this could be, guys. I'm gonna come over to this side. Might want to be careful with this because I don't know how it's packaged. Ah, yes. This is it. That's right. This is a literally brand spanking new Franz Hermley 340-020 movement. Yeah, I ordered this off eBay, and I bet we're going to be able to get this to work on the Ridgeway. So let's go on over there and see what we can do. All right, well, here we are inside the Ridgeway clock. Here is the new broken movement. As you can see, I can practically turn this. Or, well, I technically can't right now, but this can practically move on its own now, basically. But I'm, we're going to take this movement out and get it replaced. I thought I'd just show you guys me doing this this time. 
The, the camera is probably going to wobble a little bit, and I apologize about that. But, yeah, I can see the camera already wobbling a bit. So, all right, there's one screw. This has four screws in it. Okay, there's two. Okay, there's the third one. And here comes the last one. Uh, doing this with my left hand is pretty hard. <laughs> it's almost there. And there we go. Alrighty, well, here's our broken movement. And as you can see, I can literally turn this with my hand. That's how you know it's broken. Or, I mean, I think, well, I don't know. But yeah, there's proof that it's broken. But we're going to go ahead and get the new movement in. So I'll get back to you guys. Okay, let me tell you guys. Getting this movement in was way harder than I thought it would be. Because, as you can see, um, two of the screws are not in, and mostly the bottom ones. Well, the brackets are um, aligned pretty weirdly, and the screw can't fit in there. So, this is probably how it's going to slide for now. Um, I mean, it does look good. But it doesn't have a silence option anymore, as you can see. And final step, I think, at this point, before I put this in testing mode, is to adjust the hammers. I've already adjusted three of them, so I'm going to do these last two hammers. Sounds pretty good. Now we get this very back one. That sounds much better. And as you can see, the movement's a little crooked, but it seems to be holding on there just fine. But anyways, the new movement is now inside the clock. And I'm going to run it through the testing phase. Here is one last look at the broken movement. With its broken mainspring. It's no good. But yeah, there's one last look at that. And here is the new movement with its adjusted hammers. So, I'm going to get back to you guys by the time this thing gets through its testing phase. Okay, guys. I finally got the new movement in after quite a lot of adjustments. Let me tell you, it was <laughs> real hard to get this thing in due to the brackets that it came with. And on top of that, while I was attempting to adjust these brackets, I ended up cutting myself on my finger, but I'll be okay. So the movement's in and seems to be running for now. So let's hope it runs for a while. And as you can see, I've only got two of the screws in on the brackets because this thing could not be, the brackets are really hard to adjust properly with the holes. So yeah, this thing was very hard to get in here, but it's finally in and it's looking pretty good so far. So, I'm going to let this thing run for a bit, and we'll see if it runs any good. So I will get back to you guys. All right, guys. It's the next day now. One day later, and this thing appears to still be running, it looks like. 
Oh yeah, it is definitely running. So I think I can safely say this thing is pretty much fully fixed. Aside from there being no silence option on this new movement. But yeah, I'm glad I was able to get a new movement in this thing. Because this is a clock that um, was kind of precious to me considering where I got it from. I got this from one of my grandma's friends. And it's a, just a gorgeous clock. I did not want to throw it out. So I knew I had to just go ahead and replace the movement at least to keep this thing. But as you can see, I think it's now back up and running. And so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little brief video. I do apologize if I didn't get everything documented. But again, getting the movement in this thing was like super hard due to the mounting brackets. But I think this will do for now, and all that matters is this thing is pretty much fixed and back up and running. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. I will definitely feature this clock a bit more with the new movement in it. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. So bye, guys.